this novel writing update is not gonna be all that exciting because I really don't have a whole lot to talk about because I am working on the first 50% of the first part and I technically have like three parts to the story. I mean most most stories have like three acts but as far as the way that I have it like set up divided I have part zero which is like the prologue portion but I've labeled it as part zero in hopes of getting people to actually read it because it is kind of important that you read the prologue before you get into the story. I know I'm really bad about skipping prologues when they're labeled as prologue because no one ever knows what the prologue is supposed to be but the prologue is what sets is what tells you it, the prologue tells you everything that happens before the story actually starts. So it's not usually really long. Some of them are though. And it's usually, it's definitely like the really long ones that I always skip, like almost always. But I've placed some really like crucial stuff and I'm sure there are other authors who have done that too. So I feel bad that I've skipped so many prologues, but I, so I labeled it as something other than a prologue in hopes that people would actually like read it and be like, oh, I should probably pay attention to it. So I have a part zero, which is not very long at all. I think it's like maybe two pages, um, but I've saved that for the end just in case there's anything else I need to make sure I include in it after I've gone through the first part and the second part. So yeah. But at the same time, the different parts also represent the different years of her life, where part zero is more of everything that happens before we meet the main character, and the main character's 16, so part one is all of, all happens during the time when she's 16, and then part two happens during the time when she's 17, because that's a crucial age in the way that I've set up the story. So it's, it's interesting and different all at the same time, because since I've already vomited everything that I kind of want in the story on the page, I am now having to go back through and kind of rework things a little bit and expand stuff a little bit more because there's certain stuff where I, I left some holes. So I'm trying to patch those holes, make them look all pretty. So it'll be a nice little patchwork story, except it's not all cute and such. It's a cool process, the novel writing process. like. It's just figuring out what's going to be the best way to make it work for me. But I love hearing other authors talk about their process because it helps me figure out, well, maybe that would work. And sometimes I figure out, no, that definitely doesn't work. And other times it's like, yeah, no, no, that works. Works. But everything works differently for different people. And I, I don't know. I feel like these updates would work slightly bit better if I had some questions to answer. But uh, I don't know if I'm at that point yet. Maybe I am. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will answer them in my next one, which these videos will be posted on the third Sunday of the month. We'll see if I stick with Sundays after 2018. Third Sunday, novel updates. Subscribe if you want to have them pop up in your inbox. Or you can just return to the channel every Sunday. Or keep an eye on my Twitter, because I'll be sharing them that way too. But yeah. So that's it for me. Really, like, if you want to ask me questions about my novel, please, comments. Use them. So, yeah, that's it for me. I will see you next video. Bye.